Would you give your significant other performance reviews? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lori. So I was reading this article the other day, which I'll link down below, about why people should rate their significant others the way bosses might rate their employees. Naturally, my first reaction was disgust, cause like seriously, a report card for relationships? Like talk about taking all the fun out of relationships. The ideal relationship is one where both sides can be open and honest with each other. Like it's common sense that if there's a problem, you would just say what it is. And in the ideal relationship, the person who you're saying it to would just listen because they love you. So they'll adjust if not the first time, then like the second or third time that you say it. But thinking about it some more, I realize that most relationships are not ideal, at least not all the time. Even in the best of relationships, we all have moments where we feel like we're not in sync and we want our significant other to just get it, but they don't. And we all have our moments where we really just don't want to hear our significant other complain. I mean, we're human. The way I'm thinking about this now, without a designated time to talk those things out, those problems usually only come up at the worst time ever, aka when you're fighting. And face it, if you had to pick a time where you were level-headed and in the right state of mind to talk something out and work out a compromise or be logical and rational, it's not during a fight. Even in the best case scenario, like when you're not fighting, who wants to hear criticism from their significant other? No matter how reasonable you're being or how nice you're being about making that criticism, it just doesn't end well. When was the last time you were happy to hear that your cleaning skills aren't up to par or you're not putting out enough. Or maybe you're just one of the unlucky ones who is with someone who literally never complains and just lets that stuff build up until they're ready to walk out the door. So given that we all can't consistently all the time be the same logical human beings that we want to be, it might just be a good idea to do like a regular relationship checkup. Because think about it, you won't need a reason or a prompt to be evaluating your relationship. You'll just have to do it because it needs to be done. You won't have a choice. It'll be part of your routine. So that'll make it easier to swallow. It also forces you to like kind of plan your argument out and give it some actual thought and put it in perspective. Like, okay, so maybe you hate that he leaves his dirty laundry everywhere, but what do you like about him? And is the laundry such a bad problem that it overshadows all the things that you do like? Once you ask yourself this question as you're formulating what you're going to say to him, maybe you should consider not complaining that much about the laundry. Maybe rather than making that part of 90% of your conversations, you could just suggest a compromise in which, I don't know, you pick up after his clothes and he does something that you hate like the dishes. Obviously though, this should apply to deeper issues as well, but you get my point. The other benefit I think of setting aside a specific day to like talk these things out is that you won't feel the need to talk about them all the time and all the days in between. If it's not like a really time sensitive deal breaking thing, just save it for evaluation day when you can like take the time to come up with a persuasive way Way to um, present it to the other person and then when you finally do bring it up it'll be in a forum where your partner feels safe and like they can take you seriously in other words not when you're fighting and screaming at each other and nothing that either person is saying is getting heard the thing is this kind of stuff really has to go both ways if you are going to expect your partner to hear you out when it comes to evaluation time your partner should be able to expect the same from you and that means like no passive-aggressive hinty pressure whatsoever for them to choose their words wisely or to be careful about your feelings. They need to be brutally honest. We may not always be rational, logical people, but this is like the one moment that we really have to be. It's not the time to be a brat. It's not the time to be sensitive. If you start to feel yourself getting like insulted or defensive over what your partner is saying about you, then you really just need to check yourself. Cause I guarantee you there's really nothing good that can come out of your partner not feeling like they can be brutally honest with you. Hopefully it's not that serious, but even if if you don't like what you hear, it's much better than hearing lies. So what do you think? Would you guys do like a relationship evaluation once a year with your partner? Or have you already done it? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at Hoops High Heels. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>